Hi, this is Ed Dollister. This is Mitch Halleck. And welcome to another exciting episode of Mitch and Ed's Excellent Adventure and also as part of the IndyCast because we are here to talk about the leaked Indiana Jones 5 D23 teaser trailer that just hit the interwebs a couple of hours ago. Mitch, are you excited? Ed, as one who's been working on the Raider.net website and the IndyCast since 2007, I would say after 15 years, I have not been this excited since the last time we saw an Indiana Jones movie in 2008, which was The Crystal Skull. But I think we all know how that ended. So I think this time they're going to do it right because this is the last adventure of Indiana Jones played by Harrison Ford. That is correct. And it's probably not the ideal way to witness, uh, you know, this momentous occasion by watching a leaked video of it. And uh, right. we were going to say spoilers. Spoilers. We're going to spoil the hell out of this. But I got to tell you, Ed, as one who's been working in the marketing world since 1989, I was telling my son tonight when I picked him up at the train station, I am very leery when I hear the word leaked. Because I don't think that happens just by accident. It's not 1995 anymore. Mm -hmm. Everything's calculated. Everything goes out. If you and I saw this, and so did millions of other people, I'm betting we're going to see the high-definition, full-blown trailer probably Friday yep. this week. Because New York Comic Con is next week. There's going to be a lot of stuff there. So maybe they're just getting everything in a row, and they want something to talk about. So anyway, it's leaked. We saw it. Let's start talking about it. Where, 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 where do we start? I've got to say, first of all, um, you know how we heard, um, I think it was maybe James Mangold said, oh, we're not really, it's not a, it's not a finished trailer or anything like that. Yeah. I showed Kelly and she goes, that's a trailer, isn't it? I go, yeah, that's it a full like trailer. A I mean, cool... yeah, they, they've got title cards in the middle of that thing. That's a full trailer. That, the absolutely. only thing they did have, well, we're jumping ahead. We didn't see an official title. So maybe that's what they're kind of holding off. They want a big reveal for it because Disney's got a couple big movies coming out. They've got the Black Panther movie. They've got the Avatar movie. So yes. why not, you know, attach this when it's ready to rock and roll. And everybody has said that maybe just the title is Indiana Jones, but I don't think they're going to do that. That would just be like saying James Bond. There's going to be a title. So there is. We'll uh, and I believe James Mangold has alluded to that, that, you know, there is going to be a title. Why break you know, tradition, tradition. Yeah. I think you know. Well, you know, it started off called Raiders Lost Ark, and yeah, then it but Raiders the of the Lost. You know, I, I know we don't talk about that Indiana Jones and the Raiders Lost Ark. But anyway, let's go on with the trailer because I'm sure that's what people want. Okay, to know. so what again, spoilers. So, spoiler. You know, if you saw the trailer, and we're assuming you did, we're going to talk about what we saw. So this now we'll you know. show some stills and things like that, but we're not going to show the actual. uh trailer because yeah you know we don't want to get uh taken we don't, down don't want to get in trouble happened. we don't want to go to lucasfilm jail we've been no. working on the fan world for years we don't want we to go don't want to be bad we're not going to end it like this no, no. so no. it starts off with a voiceover now i've got it actually i've got the text of the voiceover here because i wanted to make sure that i didn't um miss anything so we got we start off with a voiceover who's it sounds like it's at a little bit of a different point uh than mm -hmm. when we actually hear the actual voice, but um, we believe it's Salah saying, I miss the desert, I miss the sea, and I miss waking up every morning to wondering what wonderful adventure that new day will bring us. And then Indy says, those, those days, days are have come and gone. Over. Yeah, come and gone. <coughs> I'm getting all emotional. And he goes, and then, and then that's the reveal. See, that's when you see Salah saying, perhaps. John Reese davies is back. Perhaps Perhaps not. Perhaps not. He's back. He said he wasn't going to be in it. They held. I love when they don't. You don't have to ruin everything. You don't have to open all your presents before Christmas. So this was a nice thing. I got to admit, got chills. And from the video we saw, I heard people clapping and cheering when Salah came up on the screen. So, mm -hmm. well, just speculating right here. It sounds like because Indy's not in any formal gear when he turns no, away. I... He's just wearing his shirt. So it's not like they were at a a wedding or a funeral or a formal event. It looks like they're just talking like old friends. And I was trying to get the impression of where Sala was behind it because it was a dark 
area. It looked like maybe an airport or something or a train station. There was something going on behind him. And then he was on the street. Yeah. He was turning to walk away. He's just like on a busy city street. So maybe this just happens. And then we'll talk about what happens in the future. Maybe they, think- they got together in the city in New York or something. And then adventure came away and got them involved and whatever. Oh, All I know is when nice. I saw Sal. I was going to say, when I saw Sal, I heard cheers coming out from that preview audience. So everyone is very excited to see John Reese davies back in the Indiana Jones films. What it's been since 1989's Last Crusade. It's been a long time. It has. I, years. I suspect that he's not going to be part of the whole adventure. I've just got a feeling no. he's just there as a bit of a, a link. I got the feeling now I'm probably wrong, but I wonder if um Indy's uh, speaking at a, um like doing a lecture tour or something like that, or maybe speaking at maybe. some sort of conference. And that's where um, that's where Sala comes up to him and says, "Look, there's one last thing, you know." Well, to, we talked we talked about the voiceover, but the scenes that they showed were these little like three wheel carts that I've seen over in India Tuk-tuks. that they still go around with, and they were having a car chase with them. And you see Indy jumping from one of them to the other. That could have been set in the fifties, perhaps in the sixties. I mean, he was very spry, so I don't know what year. He was, and he did have a tie on. The Indiana mm-hmm. Jones I saw jumping from one cart to the other cart was wearing the leather jacket shirt, and he had the tie like he did in the Last Crusade. So maybe he was on a, some type of lecture tour, and he got sucked into, you know, random adventure. And then they said, even the sea. When he says, "I miss the the desert," I miss the desert. I miss the sea. I and then the you sea. see. Um, underwater great, yes underwater you also get to see uh a, there was a, a there's a few throwbacks i think to a lot of the films in uh in this teaser trailer where you certainly see the uh the snake, snake. Or, or, yeah. or maybe it's an eel because it's maybe a more eel yeah yeah coming it was through the, the mouth which is yep. really good um but i and, like what um indy says uh uh i don't believe in magic but a few times in my life i've seen things things i can't explain and I've come to believe it's not so much what you believe, it's how hard you believe it. Is him back doing his lecture tour. It's a much bigger hall. It's not as a classroom. Yes. It's an actual lecture hall. And he's got the overhead projector and he's you know shown some slides and he's got the old look on. And then they show him in his office. And if we recall back in Last Crusade, he basically lived in like a storeroom That's that right. was just surrounded by all his trophies and, and his collection. And the boiler trophies. in the background. And the boiler. And it looks like just a bigger version of that. And as he's walking, he turns. I see. I thought he would be turning the light off, like he's going home or whatever. And he yep. just flicks the light on. And basically, to me, that shows like he's become like Marcus Brody, getting lost in his own museum. He's just the curator now of the museum, and would, that would be appropriate for Indiana Jones. That I mean, he's been a professor. He's been assistant dean. We last left him in the uh, Crystal Skull. He got promoted. Mm -hmm. So it just comes to, this makes sense to me. The the fruition is he replaced Marcus Brody and and Stanforth or whatever and becomes the curator of the the museum there at Mitchell College. Do you get the feeling that like um, with, you know, we've just talked about Star Trek 2 and how um, Carl Kirk, you know, his character feels like old and he's past his use by date. You sort of get the feeling that uh, Indy is sort of a little bit resigned to definitely. Um, his, you know that he's just uh, put out to pasture a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he's just out. To, and when he says that line, like you mentioned a couple minutes ago, when he says those days are you know long gone or whatever, yeah, that's just like come on, it's time to be an old man, and you know you got to stop. And then when he does talk about the things he said he's seen in his life, and you have to believe. Yep. When they're show when that audio happens. You see him as a young man. We're going to talk about the visuals now. You see Harrison Ford in a Nazi uniform. Looks like he got off the set of Force 10 from Navarro. He does. 78. They definitely de-aged him, and we knew that was coming because we saw those de-aged special effects spots nice with him from, from footage. Yeah, and he literally looked like he just walked off that set from Force 10 from Navarro, and he was a captured uh, Nazi disguise. And then they show a bunch of scenes of a train and somebody's yes. running on top of a train because Sala says, Oh, I would love to wake up and every day is a new adventure or whatever. And you see that. So there's a motorcycle, a lot of the images. And then I know it, it was it rem- that reminded me of last crusade uh, with the motorbike, with the train. Well, I was thinking of the movie, the great escape because you oh, yes. saw Steve Green on almost the same motorcycle 
tearing through the countryside. And then when I saw the train, I'm thinking he jumps from the motorcycle onto the train and he's running across the top of it. Maybe he's trying to stop or maybe he's trying to capture whatever they've taken off. And we know from uh, behind the scenes that there was a train at the castle over in England yes. when they filmed that. A lot of explosions were going on. So that's definitely from the opening of this movie. This is definitely a 1940 indie movie. Maybe Mac is in it because I have a theory that I'm going to mention later on. Mm -hmm. He said, Mac, the uh, first time I met you, you had a Luger pointed to the back of your head. Maybe they tie that all in. I mean, give some uh, some Love rewards. To Skull. Love to Crystal Skull. Why not? You well, know? I think there is. Uh, we'll talk, and again, we'll talk a bit a bit about that. I think there's some throwbacks to uh, Crystal Skull in this trailer. But um, yeah, and then we get a, a, a look at again. You know, it's very blurry footage, and until we get you know a high definition official right. release, right. you know. But that that uh, de age where they remove the you know like the uh, the pillowcase off uh, yeah. young um, young Indy uh, in the uh, Nazi outfit, it looks pretty darn good. Oh yeah. It? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they did their. You, They're getting you very good at whatever, and I know it's only for a few seconds. And certainly, there's also a shot of Indy in his full leather gear, you know, jacket yeah. and fedora, which is, uh, I'm, I'm pretty ninety nine percent sure is a de aged version of young in you know younger Indy. And again, younger looks, Indy, not it looks the TV like show, him yeah. around Last Crusade, around that era. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I said, we don't know if that whole opening sequence with the two cars going at each other and Sala saying he likes the desert. Maybe it's maybe it's all around the same time. But no, I'm thinking they never jumped around a lot during the opening. So it was always set in one thing. So I'm definitely thinking it's set in like Nazi Germany with a castle. Cold and then another chase might be later on in the movie. Maybe that was an older Harrison Ford. Maybe because it's it looked like I'm going to say Morocco. Or something mm. like that. It looked like like a, I don't know, because I know this movie goes to Italy. We know some of the locations, yes. but that's not an Italian. I've been to Italy. I don't ever recall seeing those like tri motor scooter things going around the streets of uh, Sicily or anything. But who knows? Maybe no, they'd all be on Vespas or Lambrettas. They'd be on Vespas, yeah. yeah. So that's definitely not Italy. Okay. And then what are the other things? Like you said, that he sounds like he doesn't want to come back, but when he says that one line. I've seen a lot of things, you know, and there's somebody on top of the not uh, the train coming yeah, towards so, him that's backlit. That so like, I, I assume when you have the close up of um, it looks like from what we can see, Mads Mikkelsen, um, Mads as Mikkelsen, a German yeah. officer with an eye patch. Yeah, gotta love me an eye patch on a bad guy. So I know. So that's pretty good. Again, they're very fleeting sort of you know images. Uh, was there uh, who was the actor? I thought I saw an actor with a mustache. There was, uh, that's when there was some sort of I, I don't know, I couldn't tell who he was. Well, he we do know there's a sequence in the movie where that takes place when the astronauts come back from the uh Apollo mission, yes, in a parade. car. In New, it looked like New York. Oh, I know it's New York because there's something else that pops up. So he's on horseback, yes, and we saw yes. them filming that in England too. So there's a character that pulls a gun out and shoots it in the air and everyone yeah, drops that's down. The, so that was um that boy looks like um, a, boy a spy Holbrook, I think. Um that mm -hmm. looked like him. Um obviously trying to uh, get the attention of the yeah. crowd or to disperse the crowd. Um there's some great sequences you can see there um the, with the horse chase and the there's, horse also, chase, there's yeah. also a car chase that you get yep. to see with um uh Helena um phoebe waller yes. bridge who looks like into the into the action and that mm -hmm. reminded me there was a few things it reminded me of the crystal skull um motorbike car chase with a uh, mutt but it also reminded me of throwbacks to the temple of doom mine car chase where they were trying to grab um shorty oh shorty and, yeah you know yeah. i think there was Back there was quite forth. a through uh throwbacks to that there was a scene earlier on with a a boulder shaped um yeah thing yeah. which was quite good um so nothing too, yeah. I didn't feel like it was well, on the nose. I felt like it really, you know, you know, was yeah. uh, just a little, a little uh, callback, well, which I thought was pretty I'll good. I'll tell you what, when he says like, you know, again, going back to the, the, the old Indy doesn't want to do anything anymore. And then suddenly you see the hat and the whip and he reaches for it and he grabs, cause it's just, it's not just the hat, it's the whip next to it too. Yep. He goes to pick them up. It's almost like, 
you got to go back to work. Like the gunslinger putting on his holster, yes. ready to go fight in the OK Corral or whatever it was. It was definitely something happens. And again, we're going to talk about the, the whole trailer. And I think I know what it is that brings them back. You got to have that family in danger and of anybody who's ever been in movies way before Liam Neeson's family started getting taken. Yes. Harrison Ford, was the king of people messing with his family, whether it was in Patriot games or any of those other movies, it's like, stop messing with my family. And he'd come after you, even in uh, firewall where they took his dog in Virginia Madsen. He still came after Paul Bettany. Firewall. But You're bringing up firewall. Oh I'm God. bringing up all the Indiana Joe Harrison Ford <laughs> stuff. So I'm telling you when Phoebe, What's Waller her Bridge? character's name? No, Helena. what's her character's name? Helena. 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 Helena uh, might be the thing that brings him back because Frank Marshall said in a Twitter feed photo or whatever that that's his goddaughter. Yep. And at the very end of the trailer, we're going to jump, there's a funny scene where Harrison Ford, as Indiana Jones, says, uh, let her go. I'm her godfather. And yep, you they see... They just say, who is this? Yeah, they said, who is this? I'm her godfather. So, Salah's in the beginning. Maybe something happens. Maybe they go to a funeral for a friend, or maybe they've bumped into each other, or like you said, he's on a lecture circuit, and maybe something happens to Salah. Maybe somebody kidnaps him, or whatever happens. But that girl, or that woman, Helena, being taken or kidnapped is the dynamic that's going to bring him out of retirement for at least one last time mm. because it's personal this time. You know what I mean? It's sort so of he's like the last go. crusade with um, Henry yeah, Jefferson this, Senior. This it's time back. he's bringing his dad. Yeah, this time he's bringing his granddaughter or his <laughs> goddaughter. goddaughter. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, but here's one other thing we didn't think of. Everyone's saying, oh, it can't, it, maybe it's Sala's daughter, which I think it might end up being because he had like 12 kids. You I don't, don't know. think it will be, but yeah. Okay. Well, it could be. Who says it's not Max's daughter? It and he has some guilt. Mac died. He's like, you know, Jonesy, take care. I'll be all right. And he does the wink and he disappears into the space between spaces. Yes. But you never know. He did save his life. And then before he became a triple agent, I mean, it's got to be it's either Marcus Brody or it's got to be somebody we saw before. It was it either, it's either Brody or um, Dean Stanford. Stanford, Dean. I think. I think, um, they, I think it's got to be somebody from the Again, first movie. I just don't think they would cast um, Phoebe Waller Bridge as an Egyptian, you know, unless it's an adopted. Yeah, but John Reese Davies is not. I know, John but that was back Egyptian. then where it was. Yeah, but it, they just did it again in this movie. So they look the other way on certain things, you know? Well, I mean, that, that's established, you know, as. I'm just saying. Diego Luna is not from outer space, but he plays a guy in space well, with an accent. True. So you don't know, okay? It's that's not true. real. When you can it's understand what he's when he's not. Before we start jumping all over the world, remember it ain't real. It's a movie, but <laughs> it is. It's not real. It's not it real. real. So anyway, what are the other scenes that we saw? The plane, saw the, the plane, which reminded me of the cockpit shot from the Millennium Falcon. Right. And everything was coming at it. Yeah, yep. yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know if that well, I can tell if that's indie flying or if that's a, a perspective of someone, you know, the maybe um the plane shooting the train, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's definitely a World War II plane. It looked like a cockpit yep. from a bomber or something. It wasn't yes. a modern day aircraft there. Like so the it's definitely busters or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there was some other scene that I wanted to mention that um Oh, well, he did. there was a lot of action in it. Oh, the titles. The titles. We didn't talk about that. It said... Uh, Discover the Adventure. Discover the Adventure. Yes. And the Antonio Banderas quickly of a lifetime. Discover so the Adventure of a lifetime? a lifetime. Yes. So see, they're um, emphasizing definitely this is going to be the final it adventure. Looks we all know it's it coming. Sick. Yeah. And they've said it a million times. This is the fifth and final adventure with Harrison Ford. Yes. As Indiana Jones. I stress that because we all know that Walt Disney has a lot invested in the Indiana Jones franchise and maybe it goes animated. Maybe it becomes a TV series. Maybe it's a reboot with another person, but I don't think they're going to put the Indiana Jones character to bed anytime soon. That's so. right. I don't think so. Um, no, well, but... not with Harrison Ford. Yeah. But I don't know if it's, you know, 
Maybe it's uh, Helena. Maybe she becomes the new adventurer. We don't know. We'll have to that's wait fine. and see. I mean, that's fine. It just won't, it's not Indiana Jones, I think. It's, no, you know, then it's more Tomb Raider. But well, that you know. oh well, yeah, it's they just already a spin off. It's a yeah, spin-off, then it's a spin-off. Which, you know, well, it's, here's the other thing we noticed: there's no Marion Ravenwood. No, he there's seems no... a little sad and lonely because I'm like, well, who's to say However, something? Didn't... In the foot, look, okay. So in uh, some of the behind the scenes uh, photos, you do see Harrison with his wedding ring. So he's married, um, but yeah, has has something happened to Marion? Maybe that's that- what I'm saying. He looks very sad. He's not happy. I mean, he was happy at the end of Crystal Skull. He was he finally got Marion. The happy he got his you son. Don't, you don't think maybe something, something happened, happened to, to Matt uh, to and Matt and Marion? Maybe he's not a happy man. Because the Indiana Jones I remember from the Crystal Skull when he was walking out and he picked his hat up again, that guy was going on more adventures. He oh, was yeah. happy, He's not yeah. hanging it up. The one that you see in the beginning of this movie definitely, you know, resolved to the fact that he's just going to be in the, another relic in his museum and just gathering dust. I don't think he wants to go out. I mean, he's yep. telling Sala that he doesn't want to. Sala's the one that's bringing him back in. He's the one that says it. And yep. like I said, Maybe because the familial da- danger with his goddaughter is like, well, I lost my real son. I lost my wife and my dad's gone and everybody's gone in my family. They already hinted at that in Crystal Skull when yes. he was depressed. So maybe it's come back again and this is it. Maybe that's why Sala's in New York. I don't know. Hmm. I don't think Indiana Jones went to the astronauts parade. I think he was there for another reason. Yes. And then something broke out or he recognized a, a person we've talked about the nazis being used in the u.s space program so maybe mickelson and i've seen pictures of mads mickelson with older makeup on so maybe he was like a german scientist in world war ii yes and indy and there was some box that they showed during this filming with toby jones and people guessed it maybe it was like a the antikythera uh, which is this sort yeah, of um like a whatever star is- map thing yeah so do yeah, you think so- that um so because you've also see um Harrison Ford um in the behind the scenes in that uh uh that parade where he yeah. has a gift he's got a present or something like that so it could be just you know like in the basket game where he just happens to be in a location when that all yeah all well, happens and then yeah obviously someone sees him that um Boyd Holbrook Bo- Bo- mm-hmm. Boyd Holbrook um, sees him and uh, is obviously after him. Whether he's a, uh, do you think he's an American agent or is he? Uh, uh, could be, could be. You know, CIA. It's happened before. Well, remember FBI. the, uh, remember the, uh, um, the guy, the, uh, the top men who were uh, worried about uh, Indy, um, about Abner Ravenwood being discussed and thought he might be yeah. a Nazi sympathizer. I wonder if they think he's. Well, there was uh, a lot of stuff still going on in the U.S. with the communists and things okay, in the yes. late 60s too. So it's not like they were gone. The Russians were still the bad guys, and they still are now. But anyway, one of the things I was going to say is there's a lot of whip action, which was sadly missing from Crystal Skull. There wasn't enough whip action, yep. but there's definitely a couple scenes on the uh, train and a bunch of other things where he's definitely cracking the whip twice. And at the very end, when we talked about that amusing scene where he says, I'm her godfather, it's almost like a callback to the Han Solo scene or the scene where in Temple of Doom when he chases the two guards and then he yes. runs the other way because now there's hundreds of people. You see Indy standing there and he's, you know, get, let her go, you know, I'm her godfather. And then you hear that noise and there's a room full of about 30 or 40 bad guys all with their guns aimed right yeah. at Indiana Jones. And then they, they start shooting and you just see him run the other way. Typical indiana jones in way over his head no way he's going to get out of this one you know and that's why the character's been great and, and the, the humor is definitely there because that was solely missing from the crystal skull it almost took itself too serious mm-hmm. where you had the humor in raiders lost ark obviously and temple of doom the first three definitely had that he's the hero he's a professor but he's also lots of times just way in way in over his head but he still yep. doesn't stop you know what what did you think about the i know the music for the trailer is never the correct music i always felt well that, no that... this was intentional this wasn't just by accident this was definitely the indiana jones raider march but it was slowed down it was still mm. 
you know, that heroic trumpet, but it was like, instead of dun, 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 it's almost like you took a 33 record. I'm dating myself and you slowed it down even yeah. more. It was like, dun, 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 dun. it's there, you know, the song, but it's definitely a lot slower, just like indie. Maybe, maybe it's John Williams purposely, you know, well, maybe I it's think building up. It's, I think, oh, well, it obviously builds up that emotion for, you know, when you do see the hat for the first time and yeah, you know, those, yeah. those first reveals. What did you uh, think about the, um, I think, again, it's very hard. It's a bad copy that we've seen. Um, yeah. What about the, um, like, not production design, but the uh, photography? Do you think it looks like an oh, indie film? Uh, the scenes with the chase back and forth with those carts in the beginning and the under, well, there's never been an underwater sequence, so it's hard to judge that, but definitely I'm thinking when they pull that mask off or whatever, the pillowcase over his head and you see him in that Nazi uniform, it definitely reminded me of last crusade when they do the, when it goes down and it comes back from river Phoenix to Harris and he had that same look and it had that Spielberg camera moving so james mangle i'm gonna say james mangle i've seen his other films the action looks just as good or if not better than any of the spielberg stuff from the brief scenes i saw it was definitely kinetic and it was definitely moving and there was a lot of action to it so yeah i definitely got the chills with it i mean just hearing sala and seeing him that was enough to get the goosebumps going and then when you saw the hat and the whip being picked up and then you just knew and then you saw that like big ball thing crash down you knew you were back in an indiana jones movie and then like i said they ended with a little bunch of humor mm-hmm. just like the last you remember the trailer for last crusade it's like those people are trying to kill me i know it happens to me all the time I do, yes pulled the hat down so they ended that one with a funny bit and i remember temple of doom uh i think it ended with the uh well it ended with the guy being lowered down into the lava pit but i remember <laughs> yeah. i remember Lots of laughs I remember the spikes coming down and you just saw him in short round yeah. running back and forth, but it was, that had some humor too in yeah. the uh, trailer. So yeah. And then no, crystal, no, crystal skull had, you know, I, I had, had you were um, a teacher part time. Yeah. Part time. Uh, yeah. But this one, this one definitely had the right feel to it, yeah. you know? And I think so. a lot of, um, you know, there's still a lot of naysayers out there. Oh, the, no one wanted any for this and that. I certainly think. Who if are they, these people? I know. I think. They're just miserable people. They're sad miserable lonely people we still That's... get people who you know right, uh, constantly i still get about crystal skull and thing and you know what it's uh, all right to it's, it's all right to how many not years like something. i know many... it's all right to not like something but just yeah let it, you let gotta it let it go. go just let it go you know i'm gonna bad go, james... well, I'm gonna go you know watch many... crystal skull right now after this on 4k you know how many yeah. bad james bond movies there are they're not all home runs sometimes they're like an inside double that's it inside the park double they're not all great I'm just you're pretending gonna tell I know me? what that means. So, okay, you're going to tell me that Diamonds Are Forever is a great movie? No, it's a piece of crap. Okay, it's you're going to tell that me great space car at the end yeah, where he's driving. Yeah, Jill St. John. You're going to tell me that the one with uh, well, you're going to tell me any of the Pierce Brosnan ones are good? I'm sorry, all four of them suck. There's some good moments. There's some good characters, but overall, that was a disappointment. What are you going to do? You got to move on. You're going to tell me all the Star Wars movies are fantastic? They're not. So people just like putting things down. I know. You know, they can never raise anything up. They can never compliment anything without a backhand thing like, oh, Raiders and the rest are good, but Temp- but Crystal Skull sucks. It's like, yeah. okay, so three out of four are good, so that's 75%. You're going to just focus on that. What's the matter? Mom and dad didn't hug you enough when you were a baby. You need some more affirmation. You're good. Okay. Now go do something else. Go bother somebody else. Anyway, that's it. I'm it's sorry. We excited. I'm, I'm really sorry. Excited. We had to see it like this. I felt yeah. guilty sending, you know, looking at it going, Oh, I don't think we're supposed to see this because it's not official. But like I said, you and I and all our indie cast people and all of the people that listen to us and watch us, we've been waiting for this thing. Literally since may 19th 2008 the last time an indiana jones hit the big screen yeah and it's been a long long wait to see this we knew it was coming Mm -hmm. it just took forever to get here that's all so july 3rd june 30th i know where i'll be 
I, I'm going to be with you, Mitch. That's the exciting thing. I'm going to be there. Are we seeing it in uh, Connecticut or New York? We could see it both places. It's not that far apart. We could go back and forth. We're going to see it multiple times. We're going to see Indiana Jones so much. We're going to be bleeding bullwhips. <laughs> oh, sounds painful, but it's it does. I'm a... sure there's a cream for that. It'll be all fine. So thanks so much for watching. If you've got a comment on uh, what you thought of the trailer or you know, if by the time you see that the official version is out and we've made any errors or mistakes, let us know in the comments below. But Mitch, if you want to find out a little bit more about um, our show, how can you do that? Well, you could simply subscribe to Mitch and Ed's Excellent Adventure, hit the notification bell so you'll know next time Ed and I go looking for buried treasure or hit the like button if you like what we had to say. But if you really want to listen about Indiana Jones, we have 14, almost 15 years yep. worth of podcasts out there. So go look on iTunes, go look wherever you get your podcasts and type in the IndieCast. That's right. And or go we'll to IndieCast.com and you can uh, find out more. We'll hear Ed and I and, and the rest of the gang talking about the actors, the music, the comic books, the collectibles, the clothing, you name it. If there's anything been about Indiana Jones, we have uncovered it for the last what 400 episodes or more if you like more i think with all our music specials and everything like and that comic yes, con specials that. and yeah john williams specials That's yeah right. we are like the biggest source and check out the raider.net too there's everything you want to know about indiana jones on that as well and that's it all right well remember if adventure has a name it's got to be mitch and ed's excellent adventure it's excellent adventure that's right we'll see you next time thanks for watching Bye.